Formerly a limestone mine, this wine cellar is almost 60 kilometers long. Donna Maria, as she's known to her colleagues, has been production manager here for more than 30 years. She knows the underground labyrinths like the back of her hand. She regards each individual bottle as something special. Wine is like a person. Young wine is like a small child that is constantly on the go and unsettled. It takes decades for a vintage to mature. At that point, bottles are turned to distribute the yeast that is collected inside. Almost a million bottles are processed here each year. Dust is part of the package. Russian customers like it. But as Moldova intensified its relations with the EU, Moscow responded by boycotting wine imports from the tiny republic. And there is not enough EU customers to make up for the shortfall. Russia once had been a reliable source of income. Now we have greater freedom. But that means we have to look for clients ourselves. The way things used to be wasn't bad, because we had a reliable revenue. We had fixed prices that didn't change much. Now we have to calculate everything. Now the price depends on the amount of labor invested. Dusseldorf on the Rhine River. Jacques Eon has been doing his best to place Moldovan wines on the German market and was commissioned by the EU to offer marketing advice to winemakers in the Republic. With 280 shops to his name, he is one of the biggest wine traders in Germany. But he doesn't stock a single bottle from Moldova. It is still seen as wine for the masses, too high in alcohol, too sweet and too expensive for what it is and dusty bottles are not a sales argument in Germany. They have this fantasy about old wine cellars, where wine is stored for a long time. But these days, two-thirds of wine produced in the world has to be drunk within three years. Although wine is an important export product for Moldova, local vintners have not yet managed to tap into Western European tastes. But they need to change that if the Republic's economy is to thrive. In order to improve her chances, Donna Maria has started to grow more popular varieties of grape from France and Germany. Merlot and Riesling, to name but two. And that is not all that is new. She has also invested in modern fermentation tanks, all in the hope of accessing lucrative EU markets. Our champagne is no worse than French champagne. Even the French vintners who came to visit told us that. They were really surprised by our champagne because it is such good quality and so full-bodied. They don't want to stop producing red wine either, but to make it worth their while, what they really need is a solid sales concept for Western Europe.